What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to tutorial 9. So today's topic will be how to delete objects from S3 bucket. Okay, and definitely I'll be going to use Boto3 from Python. So in the last tutorial, we have seen how to list down all the objects from S3 bucket. And before that, we have also seen how to upload objects or files. So in this tutorial, I'll be going to show you guys how to delete the objects from S3 bucket. Okay, so usual thing. First of all, we need to define your prerequisite and inside the prerequisite we have to install boto3 and aws cli if you do not uh, know what about uh, or how to install those things please go ahead and watch out for the tutorial one from the same playlist you will get everything from there okay next thing is how to create im user and how to get this uh, uh, like how to give the um, administrative policy or how to administrative policy on your identity and access management user and how, after that how to uh, get the access id and the secret key this is also covered in the tutorial one from the same playlist last and most important part is that how to co uh, configure your aws cli we, i have also created or uh, shown you guys the same thing in the tutorial one so guys if you do not or if you do not configure these three things then your code will not work okay so many of you already complained me that i'm just writing um uh, like started writing code my jupyter notebook or eclipse or uh, vs code but it is not working giving me some sort of error because of that you haven't configured this thing okay so the objective of this tutorial is how to delete objects from s3 bucket using boto3 python okay so let me minimize this thing minimize this thing let me go here and refresh this thing so if you see in my s3 bucket the bucket name is total technology i have this four okay now i want to delete these things okay how to delete that i'll show you guys and after that we can uh, do some other things as well okay so first of all how to delete one single object we'll see that okay so import then boto3 like this then create s3 underscore resource okay i'm just giving one name okay after that boto3 dot client and it will be type of s3 okay this then tab dot you will get something called delete object okay and what type of argument what we are going to give you don't have to remember anything just do this thing i'm saying remember but if you're practicing you will automatically remember so it is saying i need bucket and i need key okay just copy paste this two thing from here okay then put this thing bucket means the name of our bucket name of our bucket is total technology okay and string is uh, let's write something here uh, up laod i just giving a, a wrong name the spelling mistake up laod laod up up l a o d two dot png if i run this thing i will get uh, maybe a response as 204 204 means success but nothing return no content okay so let me run this thing i got 204 204 a response code means it is successfully uh, like uh, like completed the requested but in return it is not getting anything so now what i'll do i'll just refresh this thing you'll say this uh, this will be deleted this will not be visible over here because it's deleted already okay so in this way you can delete single object so let me just show you guys delete single object and i'll show you guys now how to delete multiple object for that thing you have to import oh sorry delete multiple objects okay and what i'll do i'll just import OS I will import glob okay and I'll run this thing I'll create a variable cwd then it will be OS dot get current working directory so let me uh, uh, okay no <laughs> I'm just getting the current working directory actually I need to uh, get everything from here which I actually did in the last tutorial right so I have to list down that thing okay so s3 uh, resource dot so you will get uh, list objects okay and inside that you have to write bucket and you have to write 
total technology okay if you run this thing you will get this thing and inside that what you want to do i want this thing contents okay so uh, it should be contents okay so uh, objects equals to this okay uh, okay it will be on c like it will give me the all 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 uh, object inside this thing so if you run this thing you'll get a list with this thing means uh, just because i have three things so i have like uh, uh, length will be three if you run this thing you will get three see i get length of three okay i can easily uh, do one more thing so i just want to check like how this uh, uh, like names are uh, like which attribute the names are there the name attribute is inside this key thing okay so what i'll do now uh, uh, for object in objects and after that i will just write print actually i did the same thing in the last tutorial object and after that if i just write key it will give me all the name actually if you see here upload one upload two upload three okay so what i'll do here i will just write um, find all the objects from the bucket okay for this is actually help you guys to understand what is happening okay uh, i to iterate 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 iteration okay so i get this thing now what i have to do i have to just do this thing okay so what i'll do here so this key will be what this key will be this actually right you understand my point so object key is actually going to be this and here actually i am mentioning the name okay so now uh, uh, i'm just going to i'm just going to mm, okay nothing is required if i run this thing probably i should uh, uh, let me just okay all three things are here i i i thought that i was mistakenly run this thing okay okay if i run this thing it will be delete going to delete all these three objects so what is happening here every time this method is getting called with a new key because i'm iterating this thing uh, uh, like iterating this uh, objects and this is a list object which is going to be written okay from here okay so let's run this thing so i believe this is executed so let me uh, let me just refresh this thing see everything gone okay and someone can ask me why uh, this is not going to return this response because i didn't write print okay that is why so in, in inside jupyter notebook for for looping thing you will not get this thing because this is not the last statement in jupyter notebook you only get the last executed statement and this is not the last executed statement inside the loop that is why it's not in, it's not getting printed but if you if you just uh, um, okay i am not having this thing again but i can show you guys uh, one more time maybe for that what i have to do i have to again uh, let me just open the tutorial 7 i'm um, probably in the tutorial 7 we actually uploaded this thing so what i'll do now uh, let me run this thing let me run this thing run this thing everything i'm in the last tutorial like what i did i'm just running the code like uh, how to upload the code how to upload file inside a, a um, s3 bucket i'm running that code so that everything should be uploaded so three file has been uploaded sorry four file has been uploaded so you can see every four file here here so this 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 so actually one two three four five total five five is there so let me now delete this five file from this thing okay so what i what i can do i can create response equal to this and after that i'll print the response so i can i will get all the response one by one okay so let me run this thing now okay so what will happen now uh, 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 if i run this thing uh, it will give me those uh, five files together if you want to uh, check this thing you can check so let me run this thing okay it is running now it will return five actually so it is giving me fine if you want to just verify this thing whether the objects are okay or not uh, you can just write this thing see uh, here key is this one key two key three key four key 
and 5 key so if I run this thing probably I will get this uh, not probably actually I'll get a 5 print statement with with this uh, 204 status okay so let me run this thing now so it is running see I got everything so there will be total uh, uh, like uh, 204 uh, deletion code okay HTTP headers but it is getting status code 0 to 200 means also successfully completed okay uh, why it is uh, uh, giving me 200 like after uh, one by one it is doing that is why maybe I'm not sure here it is saying 204 after deleting but here actually after deleting it is written 200 but it is fine like both of this time it is actually like uh, uh, like did everything successfully uh, okay but uh, I am not sure it is saying something upload 41 upload 21 I'm not sure what is this okay uh, okay 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 it is actually from some other variable it is printing if you see it is it should be written 204 actually actually what happened here I by mistake I type response and I printing here response so act this response is actually actually coming from some other code actually not from here so I have to change this thing res p o n s e res p o n s e so what i have to do i have to run this thing again this code again actually this tutorial 7 i have to run this thing again okay so let me run this thing okay it will now update all the file so let me refresh this thing so now we'll try to run this thing okay so let me run this thing now see every time i got 204 204 204 204 204 so 5204 why 5204 our five file count is 204 sorry five so that is why five time i got the response so five time this loop act has been reiterated and every time uh, it, it founds a new object it is actually deleted by using this method okay so if i refresh this thing here there is nothing so that's it guys this is very easy actually okay and sorry for the Sorry for this thing actually, in between I did so many mistakes, mistake means it's a spelling mistake and all, but I think this is normal. Okay, so what I'll do, I actually, I think I should remove this part, okay. Uh, I think remove this part, but if I remove this part, it may, it might, uh, I'm not sure, maybe it will throw, it will not throw some error, but uh, it will, it is not good. Because anyways, you guys can, practice this thing so let me just keep this thing as well okay fine so what i'll do i'll just take a screenshot of this whole thing and probably you guys can follow okay so i think this is uh this is sharp start from i think let me start everything from here okay and we'll put this thing here not where is my yes tutorial line is here let me insert from here okay so it is done so so that's it guys let me save this thing and once more time I will gonna I'm gonna explain the code so that it will be easier for all of you okay Mm, now next thing is that let me just explain this thing one more time this is important you always do this thing and after that I'm just creating this s3 bucket object of uh, like client object of type s3 bucket and after that I am just deleting I gonna I actually deleting uh, I was deleting one object from here actually just to show you guys how this method works and this one got deleted one object got deleted and we got this response and more important part is this 204 it means it happened successfully okay and after that i have actually shown you guys how to do multiple things because deleting one object with the hard coded file name is not the ideal thing so probably in the actual automation or actual pro project you will get uh, some realistic example or requirement that where you have to delete multiple objects and the file names are dynamic so for that thing i created this uh, import and after that i 
uh, just uh, actually this two things are not required i did this uh, uh, like um, this is not redundant actually i thought actually i'm reading this from file that is why I actually forgot to delete this thing don't you don't require this thing then i find all objects from the bucket i get the list or length of the bucket means the how many objects are there and after that i just iterate through it so when i deleted through it it is actually calling the same method but every time uh, while assigning the value of the key attribute i'm assigning this uh, like um, uh, object key from here actually from this actually this is actually going to return this whole thing is actually going to return on dictionary and out of this contents if you give the content uh, key it will give you a list and from the list you can like uh, it, the list contains actually one more dictionary and inside the dictionary the key value uh, pair thing is there the key is uh, the key of the um, name of the key is key actually and the value is the file name okay so that is why it worked actually and in this way we achieved our thing okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day and don't forget to provide some feedback and how uh, let me know actually how you're enjoying this videos if you have any difficulties to understand or if you want some other use cases please feel free to um, like uh, feel free to write me and i'll try to uh, like incorporate all those changes and in between if you have any difficulties to understand anything you can also write me i'll try to answer all your queries so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day